Hallelujah. God bless you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my video title, Face the Giants in the Name of Jesus. The following is a prophetic word inspired by the Holy Spirit. And it says, quote, don't run from situations that will try to intimidate you, says the Lord Jesus. For the things that you run from will only continue to plague you again and again. So rise up and face the giants in your life, for you are well able to overcome them in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. The following is a prophetic scripture in the book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30, and it says, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. The following is a prophetic commentary on the word, the scripture. And it says, when Israel had the opportunity to go up and possess the land, the Lord gave them in November, in Numbers chapter 13, verse, instead of overcoming, instead of welcoming the opportunity, they shied away from it. They saw some giants in the land and were terrified to face them because they looked bigger and stronger than them. However, they these enemies were certainly no bigger than the enemies they had faced previously back in Egypt. So it would appear that they had developed some kind of fear pattern that continued to plague them and it kept resurfacing each time they faced a new challenge. Instead of being ready to face the giants, they responded in defeat. Caleb was the only one besides Joshua who was ready to go into the lands and face the enemy. See numbers chapter 13, verse 30, he recognized they were able to do it. This pattern of responding to challenges and enemies in fear exhibited by Israel is the same pattern we deal with today. The things you don't address today will follow you into tomorrow if you have been afraid to face the giants in your life they will resurface in your future until you deal with them. Don't let the giants of your past follow you anymore. Recognize that you are well able to face every giant today and every day until the end of your life. Hallelujah, the following is a prayer. Father God, I ask you that you would help me to deal with every giant that has tried to plague my life. Help me identify them and then face them head on so that I can embrace my future with freedom. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your friends. God bless your enemies, or they should leave you alone. God bless your community. God bless your neighborhoods. God bless your town. God bless your city. God bless your state. God bless your governments. God bless your country. God bless the whole world for his praise and glory and for our benefits. Remembering that Jesus said that he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And that no one comes to the Father except to him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, that is all for now. Until next time, bye-bye and take care. And thank you for watching.